Hey everyone, this is Pastor Bell. Um, so I haven't gotten to do a video like this in a few weeks and I apologize for that. It's been really busy around here, but I wanted to talk a little bit about technology uh, and how we use it to connect with each other and, and why it's important. And if you know me, um, you know or can probably figure out that I like technology and I enjoy using it. Um, I like using it to, to help me do my job as a pastor and, and helping us put information and content out there for people uh, to grow spiritually and to you know see what we're doing as a church and, and to help connect them with others as well. And often when I'm talking with folks about technology in the church and how we use it, one of the laments I often get back is, you know, people are on their phones too much. People are looking at screens too much. They're putting too many screens between them and the real world. And while there is a good legitimate conversation to be had there, and I don't want to belittle that, and there are actually concerns about, um, particularly about how much time we spend in front of screens and how much time developing kids spend in front of screens, what I want to focus on today is a very positive, important point we need to remember. That is that 90% of the times when people are on a, on a screen, when they've got their phone in front of them or a tablet or something else, they are often using it to connect with a real living, breathing person on the other side of that digital connection, right? When we talk about social media, we're talking about real people connecting through a digital channel. Yeah, occasionally you're talking to a Russian bot, but 99% of the time you're talking to an actual person on Facebook that has feelings and, and a life just like your own. And what's more is that for some people, those digital connections are just as meaningful, just as deep, and just as, as important as the real life connections they have around them. Now that might be mind boggling to you because you've got family and friends that live nearby, or you've got people you know in, in real life that are, that are the most important people in the world, and that's good, don't get me wrong. But for other folks, they don't have that. They have people they work with, they have people they go to school with, they have people they see in the store and people they're friendly with, but it's those online relationships that matter to them as much as anything. And it's those digital connections that are, that are the most life-giving and healthy sort of relationships they have in their life. And, and that's okay. Um, that, that can be a way you can be in relationships and stay connected with people. And I think that's just as real as real life connections, right? That's just as real as real life relationships. I realize it's different and I realize there's limitations to it, but I don't think that makes it any less important. And we've even found in the church that these digital connections are ways that we reach people in ways that we never could before. Uh, and so before people come to our church, often they go to our website, our social media feeds, um, they watch videos like this, uh, and it helps them connect with the church and what we're doing here. It helps give them a little taste of what St. John is about before they show up in person, which can be very intimidating. And it's also a way that they get fed spiritually. So every once in a while I have folks who will contact me or they'll, or they'll stop me at the store and they'll say, hey, I really like what you're doing at St. John. And they're not members here. Um, they may have never come before or haven't been a long time, and, you know, but they watch the sermons. And in addition to that, maybe they go listen to another pastor on a podcast or they have these other digital connections and that's how they get fed spiritually. And while I think it's important, and I hope eventually they find a community uh, and people they can connect with, I'm glad that they have this digital connection now. And I'm glad that we can help provide that along with, with other people who are putting digital content out there um, wherever it may be coming from. There is a lot of good stuff out there. Uh, and so my point for this is to say, when you see someone on a phone, when you see them with a screen in front of them between them and the rest of the world, uh, in their physical space, don't automatically go to judgment. Realize that that might be how they're connecting uh, with someone else, someone they don't get to see a lot of, um, someone they have a hard time talking to in person, uh, or someone who's just so far away um, they can't connect with them in real life. And also realize that that relationship they're engaging in through their screen, through that digital connection, is just as real and just as important um, and just as meaningful and life-giving as some of the relationships that all of us have uh, out here in the physical world. So that's enough for my digital connection for this week. I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, God bless. Bye now.